All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. So today, what we're gonna talk about is something that I've getting a lot of questions about is how do I figure out my calories, okay? Um, and so I'm gonna give you my two methods that I like to do that, okay? So we have two types of methods, uh, uh, method A and method B. Method A is kind of more like we just dive right in and we get to it. Um, and it's cool because we'll start to get fat loss immediately. Um, method B, the, the reason I like method B is because it's gonna allow us to be, it's gonna be more scientific, it's gonna be more practical. And we're also gonna learn some things about your current habits that if you don't do option B, you may not find these things out. And you know, when you learn awarenesses about what you're doing right now, um, it allows you to uh, have more insight and have more freedom to do things later on. So uh, all in all, both ways are, are good. It's really up to you to decide uh, which one. And honestly, um, just knowing my own personal tendency and, and what's attractive and appealing to me, I will probably just dive right in, right? Um, so uh, something to kind of think about. But let's get into it first one we're going to start is option a okay so option a as you can see um basically the way that fat loss works is you know it's based on calories and the thing with the calories that most people don't understand is that calories are based on the size of the 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 animal right um, it's like, you know, uh, a Prius requires a certain amount of gas. Like it's, it, all Priuses are going to be the same. Similar cars are going to require the same amount of gas. A, a, a semi truck is going to require a specific amount of gas, right? Um, it's bigger. It requires more fuel. This is the same idea for a 511 guy. It requires a different, um, it requires more fuel to move me, right? and have everything happen, like your calories burned are, there's a separate video on this, but it's not just, it's not, people just think calories burned, exercise. Actually, your activity and your exercise is such a small percentage of the calories required. Most of your calories are being used by just your, you know, your non-exercise activity, it's called NEAT. Um, and then just your, all of the functions and processes that are happening in your body, that have nothing to do with exercise, those require calories. For you to exist, it requires calories. Like to make, like this is very important to understand. If you stop putting things in, eventually you shrink down and disappear into nothingness, okay? So the bigger the person is, the more calories he or she requires. And since most human beings are within a pretty narrow range, right, of size, okay? We can approximate, you know, most people will need about 1,500 to 2,000 calories, okay? You will begin to lose weight at those numbers, all right? Um, it's, it's one thing that I always like to say is like, if, you, if pretty much any person ate 2,000 calories a day, averaged, and they would never, nobody would ever gain, get overweight, okay? Um, because that's the, that's the right amount. The reason we tend to gain so much body fat is because we eat way in excess of that number consistently and over time that adds up, okay? Remember, one pound of body fat is made up of 3,500 calories, okay? So if you use 3,500 calories, you will no longer have that one pound of body fat, right? So anyways, let's get into this one specifically. I just wanted to keep this focused on how to set your calories, not getting into all the details out, uh, you know, on everything surrounding calories um, and metabolism. So you're gonna set to 1500 to 2000. And I would say, so if you're a shorter person, set it to 1500. So, you know, I, I, I would say if you're, you know, closer to five foot, go on the lower end. If you're closer to six foot or of higher, go to the higher end. Now, since most people are eating way more than this, you could even be a five, 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 six, five, seven, a shorter person and use, you know, 2000. The point is 
you're giving yourself, you're starting off, you're, you're now we're set in and now we can monitor what happens, okay? Um, then you're gonna set your protein to one gram per pound, okay? Uh, a one gram per pound of lean mass, okay? So what is your ideal weight? So like if I'm 200 pounds and, I, and, and I'm like, let's say five five, I sh my ideal weight, right? Um, will be somewhere between, uh, it, it can vary, let's, let's just put a range on it, and let's say it could be between 130 up to 160, 170 if you're more muscular. We're just gonna pick a nice safe number and there we say 150, okay? So this person is going to need 150 grams of protein. You don't need to like go super crazy on protein and go super high. But that's just a general rule of thumb. Um, you know, another rule of thumb that we use is for women, we say 100 to 120 grams of protein. Uh, and for men, we say 150-ish grams of protein. And that's a good place to start off, right? Again, if you really want to uh, fine tune things, it starts with experimenting. So like, you, this is a big point is like, starting is more important than finding the perfect number. Because once you start and you become consistent and accurate and precise in your measurements, right, in your tracking of your food, then you can adjust up and down and you know what's gonna happen with certainty, right? People who, who don't begin because they're too busy trying to figure out what's the perfect number, what's the perfect ratio, you never start, right? So it's better to pick a number, start, monitor what happens and then adjust than trying to go crazy figuring out what is that ideal number, right? Got some caffeine-free Diet Pepsi here. All right. Then you start monitoring your morning weigh-in. This is very important. Do not weigh yourself outside of the morning weigh-in, okay? Because it's not gonna give you accurate information. So every morning you go to the bathroom, you're gonna put your scale directly in front of your toilet. You're gonna go to the bathroom, you're gonna step on the scale before you drink anything, eat anything, okay? You're gonna log that right into MyFitnessPal. Keep it simple, okay? You, go, you wake up, you go to the bathroom, you pee, you do whatever, weigh yourself, that's it. Then, as the weeks go on, you don't adjust. You do not adjust until you begin to get enough information to see what happens, okay? And it's gonna be based on like, okay, am I comfortable with this, with the change that's happening? Is there any change happening? Do I need to maybe add calories because I'm losing too much or too quickly, right? So those are things to think about and that adjustment happens gradually over time. You don't just like three days in, you're like, oh, I'm gonna change it. Okay. So um, then you're gonna, this is my recommendation, commit to three months. Like if you're not gonna commit to three months, then you probably didn't even make it to this point in the video. So um, that part is extremely important, like making that commitment, okay? So now on this option A, and this optional part, I would apply to both sides, but get a coach. So then you don't have to think, you just track calories, monitor what happens, or your coach monitors what happens and he makes he or she makes adjustments for you. Um, a good coach is also gonna explain why the adjustments are being made the way that they are. Um, but that's, that's something that I would highly recommend. Uh, all of my greatest progress has come because I went to find somebody who was way better than me and could help me figure it out or, or tell me what exactly to do and give me direction and structure, right? So that's kind of the optional part there. Um, option B, okay? Now this is a little bit more uh, scientific in that we're making it super specific to you, okay? So you're gonna track for seven days. You're not gonna change anything. You're just gonna eat how you normally do, but you're gonna track everything, okay? You're gonna weigh everything, you're gonna measure, you're gonna put it in MyFitnessPal. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna find out an average, okay? So you're gonna find out, let's say you find out you're over that, that week of tracking your calories, you find out that you eat 30, 100 calories per day on average. Cool. From there, we're gonna subtract about 500 calories and we're gonna, that would put us at 2,600, right, for this particular person. And then you're gonna eat, that person's gonna eat 2,600 calories per day 
and same similar thing they're going to set their protein to the same uh, using the same idea or rule of thumb as we used over here and then they're going to do the same thing they're going to monitor their morning weigh-in okay and now the same thing happens okay we're going to commit to three months and we're gonna make adjustments over time, all right? So the cool thing about this is like you find out, oh damn, like I'm actually eating 4,000 calories a day or 3,100 calories a day. And so if we remember that one pound of fat is 3,500 calories, then you know at that rate, if you subtract 500 or maybe you subtract 700 because you're at you know 3,000, now you're still eating 2,300 calories, which is a lot of calories but you're losing about a pound-ish of fat every single five days, okay? Um, and again, getting a coach, highly, highly recommended, okay? Um, and yes, I am, this is what I've been doing for the last 10 years, so it's something that is extremely effective and you know, there's a lot of great coaches out there. Um, f find one, like make your life easier, okay? Um, and anybody who has a problem like, oh, it's expensive. Well, you know what? If you, if you audit what, where your money goes right now and where your time and energy go, guarantee there's things that you're spending money on that are not helping you long run or moving you closer to physically achieving your goals or health wise, right? So it's something that, you know, this health is the only thing exercise and nutrition coaching is the only investment that literally has zero negative. It only benefits you in every single way and forever if you keep it up. So anyway, that's my spiel on that. Now, here's some things to be aware of. Do not guess. If you're guessing, estimating, you're done. Like this, all of this is irrelevant doesn't matter okay so as we like to say if you're guessing you're stressing okay so don't guess what you're doing okay get yourself a food scale and weigh everything by grams okay um, we use grams because it's just more accurate and granular versus ounces right um, you could use ounces but we like to use grams um, second thing weigh everything if you don't weigh this goes with the first one but like if you don't weigh then you're not really knowing what's up um, the last thing here, best thing is don't add back your exercise calories. Okay. Let's say you decide you're going to do 1500 calories and then your Fitbit or, you know, whatever tells you your 45 minutes of, of, uh, cardio burned 862 calories and you add that back into my fitness pal and you're like, Oh, I get to eat 1500 plus 862. No. Cause now you're Number one, none of those calorie trackers are are very accurate. So you're getting, again, like non-accurate, imprecise information. Um, and it's a ver you're adding another variable that you're trying to control. The, the less things that you try to control and the more consistent you are with them, the better and faster your results will be, okay? So we don't want that variable in there. We ignore that, okay? Um, so that's pretty much it. Like, uh, if you have questions about any of that or you want help with any of that, send me a message, rambeer at sanjaybarbell.com or find me on Instagram at rambeer.sangera um, or leave a comment below. Like the video if this is helpful or you, um, uh, you help us share this information with more people. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, and... If you have other questions, send them to me because then that's where these questions come from. You tip usually from my Instagram. So uh, send me in a message or your questions on Instagram and then I'll bring them over here and we'll put them on YouTube so people can see them. All right.